Good recreation, affordable prices, and the last HDB mansion that was actually built here. So you're moving to a new area and you're not too sure where to go, well then this video might just be for you. Today we're exploring the neighborhood of Haokang, what's so special about the place and maybe what are the new plans that Haokang is probably going to be seeing in the next few years. Also if you guys want my take on where I feel is the best place in Haokang to sort of like live in or stay in or maybe to invest in if you're into that, uh, stick to the end of the video, I'll tell you guys right there. A bit of a lowdown of the area, Haokang is located in northeast Singapore with most of its livable spaces actually located on the west side of the planning area with the east side being mostly industrial uh, buildings. Why it's so is that the east side sort of acts as a buffer against noise pollution produced by the Paya Labour Airbase just around the corner actually. So it's a bit of careful consideration when so. Most of the developments in Haokang also happened before the 2000s area, you know like the 1990s and 1980s and it's considered a mature or old estate in Singapore. So because of that, the residents that tend to stay there tend to be a bit on the older side as well so the good thing is that you don't really hear a lot of crying babies. The place is also quite populated but it's not as bad as the neighbourhood nearby Sengkang so I guess that's a good thing if you want to stay in Haokang. <laughs> okay, so generally why the residences of Haokang like the area is that firstly, it has really really good access to recreation spaces. I'm of course talking about the Northern Eastern Riverine Loop or like Neural for short. Prices in terms of housing is also a bit on the cheaper side, mainly because the houses tend to be a bit older. So if you take a look at this heat map, you can see that uh, this is the area of Haokang and that most of the neighbourhoods tend to be a bit on the cheaper side in terms of per square feet. Of course, this is a bit of dated uh, evidence and you know how housing prices have been moving in Singapore so just take note, this is backdated. Also something to note is that the last HDB mansion that was built in Haokang itself. So if you are looking for that particular type of HDB housing type and you want to really maximize the remaining uh, lease tenure, maybe you can consider staying in Haokang. That might be a good place for you. On the flip side, why people might not actually like the area of Haokang is that it sort of lacks a cornerstone development. You know how Pongo has its waterway point, uh, Kalang has the stadium, Bukit Timah has the Bukit Timah Hill. It's not really that defining building or structure that's pulling people into the area of Haokang, from what I know at least. Also, like something I mentioned earlier, Haokang tends to be a bit on the older side. So if you're kind of like moving to a new place, it doesn't really capture that very uh, like, oh, this is a new refreshing place. Like this is the next stage of my life. You no, know, I'm going to a new place. Uh, so it really depends on the taste and preferences of the individual, I would say. But don't strike out Haokang just yet. We still have to look at the future transformation and the future plans that's affecting the area in the coming future. Looking at the draft master plan for 2019, we actually see two big changes that is coming to Haokang. Number one, more business activity. Of course, this is in line with Singapore's whole like decentralized workplace where every neighborhood has its own like tiny little like work environment. And then of course in Haokang, it comes mainly in these two business parks. The first place is Daifu Industrial Estate. It's kind of a rundown place right now, but they're trying to revitalize it to sort of fit more high-tech industries, biomedical, physician engineering, green energy, just to name a few. And the place will be intensified by five times, so it's going to bring in a lot of new residents into Hong Kong. The second place is the upcoming Lorong Halus Industrial Estate. Something really cool is actually it's built on a cleared landfill site. The area will also provide food, lifestyle and logistics options while also maintaining the sensitivity to the waterfront, you know, jazzing it up, making sure it all looks cool. So this might you know, possibly be the next cornerstone development in the Haokang area but don't keep your hopes up because at the end of the day it is still an industrial park so I mean how much can it really pull people in right so all this is happening in the eastern area of Haokang like I initially mentioned so of course more work options in the area will push up housing demand so if you really want to move into Haokang I would recommend moving into it right now before all this start to ramp up really <laughs> the second major change comes in the form of accessibility currently Haokang is being served by the northeast line which is the purple line and it provides great connectivity towards the city the area is also going to be introduced to the new cross island line which is the lime green line and there's going to be a total of about two to three different MRT stations located in Haokang itself so a lot of the areas in Haokang is going to see quite a lot of amenities quite a lot of accessibility being introduced the line is also going to be looking to open in 2029 2030 so if you're going to get a BTO right now by the time construction and MOP is done you're going to benefit a lot in terms of its final sale price so that's a good thing small little extra point is that there's going to be recreational improvements being introduced in north of Serangoon Reservoir Sungai Penang and Haokang Avenue 10 I'm sorry if I can't pronounce all those it's very hard to pronounce. <laughs> to be honest, there isn't really a lot of exciting activities or developments happening in the area of Haokang. It is a mature estate and the regeneration doesn't seem like very very crazy but nonetheless, I'm going to give you a lowdown on where I feel is the best areas in Haokang that will benefit from the mini transformations happening in the area. First one is the estates along Haokang Avenue 7 which is the Kangka area. Currently, the HDB and condo prices located here are relatively cheaper compared to the nearby areas. The place is also very near the upcoming Daifu MRT and waterfront 
business park. It's also relatively close to different amenities like your Haokang Mall. So this place is definitely going to be my top pick in terms of very strong housing demand. Another one we west of Haokang Avenue too, just because it's very near Serangoon North MRT. Take note that this place is mainly only public housing, not much condos in the area, but the prices are very competitive compared to surrounding areas, so it will benefit quite a bit from the upcoming changes in Hong Kong. You want a place a little bit more quiet, a little bit closer to nature, I would suggest the area near Pongo Park. That place is awesome and with all the sprucing that's going on, I think it's gonna be an even more beautiful place to stay in. A more livable you know, location. I would say. I really hope you found all the information useful. If you did, I would love to know what you think about Haokang, what you kind of don't like about Haokang in the comment section below. I've also got a load of real estate related videos on my channel. So if you want to see more area guides, want to see more move guides, consider clicking one of these videos to check it out. You know, anyone will do really. Uh, and with that, till next time.